Oh. Oh, I see what's been going on with this. Okay. Remove that. And remove that. Okay, now, now I know why I was so silent at the start of the previous stream. Because, uh, yeah, I, I had reinstalled a plugin which allows you to add a filter to things to move values. And one of the... It had actually apparently re put in something we had from long ago back in where yeah we would be si uh, we would both be well not silence but quieted down quite a lot to let the old intro play out but we haven't used that in a very very long time now so Could we yeah. had an intro uh, not not that the, the animated intro so let me see is that also here okay no it's not okay uh, well, with that mystery solved and the mystery of my ventriloquism period also solved, yeah, just PC face forgot the microphone. Uh, ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Kenton Hillian today, along with. We assume first make the key at your service. And welcome to the currently last of the Rayman games, or well, where he plays the main role, that is, to screw those bloody rabbits. Rayman Legends. And, oh dear. Yeah, as you can see at the bottom, this game is now almost 10 years old. So come on, Ubisoft, get the hell on with it. Make a new one. If they uh, survive, that is, for they're beating a lot of drama. That took so long, the controller shut off. Okay, controller one has been connected and it's not responding. Okay, uh, give me a moment. I know how to fix this. Uh, actually, no, not like that. Uh, I'll have to I'm gonna, just going to check on my food. So I'll be right back. Uh, let's see. Controller settings, Xbox, yes. Or do I need to restart? Or it's a, uh, uh, minimize. Yeah, let, let's do a quick restart, see if that fixes it. Otherwise, I'll have to start figuring things around inside of steam or rather it's big picture mode for some reason uh, and that will also give it'll also showcase the <clears throat> that will also showcase uh, the animations if it can catch up quickly enough come on come on uh, just in time for that Okay, now it recognizes the controller. Yeah, and my food is almost done. Okay, everything should be ready here. Yeah, let's see. I think I have about one minute remaining on my food, so uh, can we wait with it a little bit? All right. Uh, yeah, what the... <laughs> there isn't... Uh, the cinematic isn't too long, but it will probably be a bit... Uh... <laughs> I'd rather not see you accidentally burn your food. Uh, might as well talk a bit about what is planned for the stream, uh, for the streams once we're done with this game eventually. So just for that, I'll add two minutes to the timer, just to well not short people out on <laughs> actual time of gameplay. Uh, let's see. I had made a promise to. Uh, to Rom about that we would be streaming binary domain somewhere some, yeah, sometime soon and he got to pick when uh, I just need to f look up where did I where I did promise to do that I think it was after this game so let's just look him up here uh, da, da, da. yep after Rayman Legends so after we're done with this game which will mean that we are done with well the known list forever and Rayman Legends and yeah, Rayman games uh, excluding Contract Jack on No One Lives Forever's side, because, yeah, I'm not going to torture myself. Uh, yeah, after this game, we'll do Binary Domain then, and after that, Commandos 2, and then we will be starting with a new swap around uh, schedule with Indiana Jones games and Tomb Raider games. So for some reason, it looks like my audio is rather quiet again. I really had. I really wish I had a, mo a way to test that live. Hmm. <coughs> Actually, I think I might know of a way. I'll need to. Yep. 
I'll just need to start up Twitch on my phone and give that a listen. That way it won't double back onto the audio of, on the computer. So, let's see. Live. My channel. Okay. Let's see. This is a bit meta. <laughs> If it would actually like go. Almost. Almost ready. At this rate, it might actually be an idea for you to start up the you know, foods like 15 minutes before streams. That I did. <laughs> Problem is, I did it a few minutes too late. <laughs> okay, half an hour then. And it's not, it's refusing to load. Probably the stream itself is taking up a bit too much of the broadband to prevent that uh, but, but yeah that's the sca that's the plan at the moment uh, Rayman Legends Binary Domain Commandos 2 and then Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider there are more Tomb Raider games than Indiana Jones ones we'll be doing because we won't be doing the point and click ones yet I am thinking I'm considering about doing them on the uh, sideshow slot so uh, once we're done with Shantae and return to Monkey Island. Yeah. <clears throat> At least I'm by the PC now. Okay. We can go then? Yes, we can go. Okay. One thing that is a bit annoying about this game is that it doesn't have save slots. So yeah, it's only one to go. One century. Ooh. One entire century of yawning and snoring wildly. It seems that the heroes of the Glade of Dreams are under the effect of a mysterious snoozing power. Or my little ones just needed to take a big nap. <laughs> Meanwhile, the nightmare is multiplied. They spread. They generated new demons, even more terrifying than before. The Glade of Dreams is in danger, my friend. Go! Quickly, wake up our legendary heroes! And of course, these idiots. <laughs> what yeah. the heck? They and literally I'm have been sleeping through everything for a whole bloody century. I'm confused. I wonder if this was stream food 3D. <laughs> nope. Uh, parts of it are 3D, but most of this is just to be ended. Yeah, I did say it looked better than Origins, so thoughts on that so far? Definitely! Do I... Where's the Valkyrie? I know I saw the trailer, I know there's supposed to be a new character, I don't see her. <laughs> uh, we'll find her soon enough, probably in this very same stream, but for now, wake up! Uh, something that I... Uh, first off, we saw this, and instead of, uh, well, Electunes, we're actually saving Teensies this time. A whole Ooh. lot of them, because there's ten in each level. In most levels, at least. Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, the annoying little song is gone. Now we just need to collect these in order, and we'll get them in dub. We'll, yeah, they'll count as doubles. Oh, did it? Um... Helium, don't panic, but I think I found Bob Rush's uh, garden bush. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah. We have all of, we have access to all of our moves from before, but there's up so I think we could do this in the previous game as well, where we could act as a platform for other players. But well I'm doing this solo, so yeah. Also some <laughs> You can actually stand on those shields when they're holding them up. But <laughs> I wanted to show that they got themselves killed anyways. Ow! Oh, also, I saw something concerning in the background. Yeah, the big uh, walking thing. That too, and another one shortly after. And Someone with a uh, very big right arm. Uh, yeah. Wait. Did you just... In the end. What? Did you seriously just charm the princess of the teenies? Uh, no, this is the queen. There's four, there's eight uh, teensies in most levels, plus the king and queen. Oh, so it was the queen. I, I, yeah. I, I thought queen, then I thought, you know what? It's probably not the queen. It would probably be too early. But yeah. nope. And uh, yeah. Murphy actually makes himself useful in this game as well. <laughs> By slapping the shit out of the eyes of those things. Oh, I thought they... I thought they got eaten. No. Oh, before we... Never mind. I think there was something behind those. And... Oh. And there he is. Do this. And just a single punch. <laughs> but yeah. As before, our goal is to, well, oops. okay, luckily we can still swim, yeah? Our goal is to rescue as many teensies and get as, much, yeah, as many lumps as we can along the way. To, well, purge the nightmares. Has Murph become your Navi or something? Uh, he's a lot less annoying and he can also do that. Wait, Murphy? Not I know you. Usually it is Murphy. Uh, likely. You can also do that. I... He used to be the outright creepy or semi annoying. Mostly creepy on an unnerving. Yep. There we go. A lot of teensies will be hidden behind false, wa false walls or false foreground items and such. This, this game. I, I, don't, I think I've already said before, I have this game in like three different versions, though I don't think I have the Wii U version, where you can actually do these things that Murphy does yourself by using the uh, console. Also, yeah, if we cut both of those ropes there whilst the teensy was still hung, hanging underneath, uh, we wouldn't have been able to save them. Yeah. There we go. You can even turn those. Since I do now have a Wii U, I might actually be tempted to eventually go uh, and buy the Wii U version of this game as well. Okay. Really now. Oh, this is good. Almost got myself stunned there. Okay, simple enough qu question. <laughs> Puzzle. I was wondering what I'm eating. Cheeseburger into tea bread. Um, I think I've tried hamburgers in uh, flatbread, like the type you get uh, shawarma and such in it. It wasn't bad, certainly. Oh, yeah, there are some, are some uh, Swedish variants on those, though. Hmm, actually, that would probably work with cheese, just as long as I don't put in garlic sauce or anything else, as they just may leak out through some holes. Yeah. There is one problem with uh, swarm of flatbread, but <coughs> it's manageable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, what I've done is I take two tortilla breads, 
two burgers, then I slice the burgers in half and put cheese between the halves and put them in East Tortilla bread. Okay, I'll definitely have to try that out. Yeah, it, it, it's more of... Uh, like, I could probably have both burgers in some tortilla bread, but it's more of... Uh, to make it easier to eat. Yeah. Okay. Now, we won't have Murphy with us on every level, but there will be some specifically are designed around Murphy. See, I, I don't think we can jump on these ghosts, so we do need to completely avoid them. Oh dear. Uh, wait, I just realized. How do you eat a burger? Hmm? How do you eat a burger, Hillian? Uh, in, like in the way I hold it or something? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I remember you not liking food touching your face. Uh, with burgers, it's a bit different. It, um, I think it's more like I don't like hard things touching my face. I think and most yeah, people don't. <laughs> I think I saw the queen there do a very unexpected dance. Okay, the, the lumps still have a use for things, like in getting those things. And, well, getting these trophies. <laughs> nice! Oh, no, they still have the music. Yep. And still these little transition bits. And this is how we'll be moving around between the worlds now. And, yeah, as you can see, there's 700 teensies to save. <laughs> Three gods. Yeah, and because when we got one of the t tickets, we can go over here and scratch that out. And yeah, with each of these, we will win something, like a bunch of lumps or artwork or those little, uh, like the little thing in the upper right, in the upper left corner. There was also something oh, I learned dear. about uh, this guy here, which I actually hadn't known before. This oh. is Polocus. <laughs> the, the Bubble Dreamer and Polocus are one and the same. Though I think it is might he? be more a case of uh, the Bubble Dreamer being an avatar of Polocus. That or he, they just gave him a new design. True. His uh, old design was a bit uh, freaky. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> those just yeah, those signify difficulty. The th in challenges painting, you'll find challenges where you can compete with friends and players from all over the world. I'm not sure if that is still active. I kind of doubt. Yeah, so and yes, also, I think I, I think it still has his original arms. When I think about it, since you mentioned that, it, it might be he grew since after awakening. I can't say see too much about his arms, but they before they were like three times his length or something. But yeah, it, it could yeah. just be that he uh, rounded out. I'll just say. <laughs> okay, creepy castle. Yep. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a bit double up. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the hunters are back again, and wait, the skull with the top hat, really? Yeah, they, they, they look a bit different. Yeah, though they aren't too bright still. They, they look more they like pirates now. Okay. Yeah, wall jump. And yeah, there'll actually be some traps around here as well. Most of them, well, will just be easy to avoid, like the swinging ones. There we go. Okay, so of course it's a lot... <laughs> it isn't as easy to dodge them when they're actually in front of you. Oh, uh, no. No. Come on, let me show. There, you can actually stand on it. 
But they will eventually get annoyed enough to actually try and attack you. Is expecting to try and kick? <laughs> well, their hands are full. If they move one hand away, you're likely to just fall on them. Okay. Simple enough. Then we go up. And there we go. Simple memory bit. Hmm. I'm not a queen! Yep. Uh, let me go grab that for a moment quick because we do still get extra lums if we already have a heart. I have a yep. feeling someone's gonna get into a very... How to say this? In bad terms with the king. <laughs> uh, with a lot of the kings since, well, there's a lot of levels to go through. Also, we don't have to pop our enemies anymore for extra lungs. We just need to hit them once and they go boof. Yeah, poof. Uh, uh, how does it... Uh, I feel like the... Weapon with over a club with just a nail in it has not been seen in many games over the years. I, I never knew you would jump like this if you're pressing downwards. He's jumping like a dog or something or a horse. That. What? You mean you've never seen a frog jump? That as well. <laughs> You're a bunny? I, I, I didn't know that you could actually jump like this in this game. Yours? Uh, ah, there we go. That just kind of good. It means you're still learning. Yeah, and that's always nice to find out new things about games you play and like. Oh, yeah. Don't don't always rush because if there we go. Though we could have used these launching cushions as well to get there. You won't always. You know, sometimes you will have to be a bit careful about what you ac actually do, like not getting kicked in the face there. <laughs> and I'll just deal with that real quick. I, actually, I uh, configure account. Uh, Verify login closed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is very obviously either a bot or someone actually dumb enough to think I would fall for something like that. So, also rude. Yep. So muting Twitch, going to the channel. And there we go. Bye bye. Uh. Okay, with that done, there's very obviously something here. Okay, I'm not going to let that sour my mood. So uh, let's have this bit. I wonder, would be people even be able to do that on YouTube? Uh, yeah, they would. People would still be able to comment in the chat and do stuff like that. Uh, so well. Yeah. Speaking of YouTube, we I don't think... Yeah, I'm not sure if I said this on stream before, and also uh, I might be in trouble with the Queen as well. <laughs> but we're planning on moving to YouTube uh, yeah, starting with January. Because, yeah, just stupidity with tw uh, Twitch and such. And just, just, just if, you, if you're wondering why, just look up TwitchCon. And the stuff that happened there. Like, two people actually broke their bloody back. Wait, what? But I think at, at least one person broke and had their spine broken in like three places from that stupid uh, foam quote unquote pit. And yeah, they just. Stuff like that just speaks of the carelessness, you know. Or callousness uh, of Twitch when it comes to their uh, content creators and such. 
I, I only knew that they reduced from having your videos up on their site for two weeks to just one. It's extremely yep. inconvenient considering how random our current uh, sketchy loads are. Yep. Doesn't even have that uh, the thing we have that's supposed to alert people on our Discord when their stream no longer works. So means we just have issue remembering what a number of the episode we are on. Yep, so for that I've started those forum posts to try and keep count. So I'll likely end up forgetting at least a few times again because my memory is as leaky as a sieve. Yeah. But as a sieve! Okay, that's a unusual Star Wars quote, but all right. No, not a Sith, a, a Sith, like a. Oh. What you used to say. <laughs> uh, a knife. Okay. No, but yeah, just in general, this, the three main. Uh, not, in, in general, just twit. Uh, hello. Did he actually respawn or something? Uh, Twitch has been, yeah, very unfriendly to its creators recently. And I, I don't make money off these streams at all. I, they, don't, they aren't monetized. I'm not even monetizing the vlogs that I upload. But it's just, in general, I don't want to you know, really be associated with them if they are just going to be that callous and careless with uh, the people that actually, well, make the content, make the site be what it is. Yeah, like, sure, they made it, you no longer allowed to gamble here, fine. But, uh, instead of making sure that everyone gets a good fair share, instead of just the higher ones... Yeah, it's also just plain they, favoritism. They, instead they just... make give everyone less. So it's not like yeah. the ones on the lower tier gets equal as the high ones. No, no, they punish the high ones and tell them if they want more money, Put more ads. Uh. I think I said it before. Ads on live stream is horrible idea. Like, yeah, I can't if just ad cut in the middle. Yeah, like I can't understand ads on YouTube on a finished video. You can click those away and all that, but on a live stream? Yeah. No, just no. Don't put ads on a live stream. Okay. Uh, Congratulations, you've unlocked the world toad story. Teen sees a way to help there. <laughs> yep, there it is. Uh, okay, first level of awesomeness. Apparently, it's using my Uplay name. So, thanks about that game. Uh, but yeah. Each of these unlock after we get a certain amount of teensies freed, which is a good reason to well, unlock to get as many as we want. And actually, there's a bit of 3D to the paintings, it seems. Or depth, at least. Ooh. And, yeah. Did you see that instrument? <laughs> yeah, the, it looks like a big loot. It has a face. Uh, yeah. Let's continue on with Teensies in Trouble, since, well, we have 52 more to save here. And let's go for this ticket here. Okay, now we can get to show one of these. A creature. Let's see, new creature unlocked. Go see it. Because we've unlocked our first one, that gets unlocked. And this is basically a collectibles thing. We got flying toast. <laughs> Welcome to the creatures gallery. Every day your creatures will release new lums. Gather as many new creatures as possible to have loads of lums every day. Okay, I remember that the lums can be used as a currency for something, but I forget specifically what. And as you can see, there's a lot of space for these things. <laughs> Every day of an actual day? Yep. Yep. Scratch a lucky ticket to win your first Back to Origins painting. Yeah, some of Origins' levels are in this game as well. Uh, 
Kung Foot, which is a multiplayer thing. And let's take a quick look here. I don't think it's going to manage to connect. <laughs> I thought it would actually try after we got in, but no. Uh, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we might have to wait a little bit here. We just okay. did something bad. Yeah, it should give up. Speak of. Uh, Ubisoft servers are momentarily unavailable, as in permanently unavailable, but oh well. I think with the challenges, there were uh, daily uh, random maps where people could, well, try and get the fastest time and such. And also we unlocked this. Barbara? Yep. Dungeon Dash. Uh, yeah, this is how we'll be able to unlock a bunch of new characters. Please tell me each character has some special ability. Uh, no, all of the characters are still the same. Or same stuff with the... Uh, oh, oh crap, we're moving. I've forgotten that this one is timed. Or not really timed, but chased. That screams! Uh, up, move that up, grab that, okay, go, I think the fire will slow, yeah, the fire will slow down a bit at times, if you're, well, starting to slow down, okay, we missed that one. Down, open. Oop. Yeah, it, it isn't br it isn't brutal like some of the uh, <laughs> like some of the tricky treasure levels in Origins. Okay, we'll have to go back in there at some point to get that lost teeny <laughs> teensy. And maybe get that one as well. Rayman's fades. <laughs> yeah, even though we missed one of the teensies and didn't, and didn't get the gold medal, we still get Barbara. There we go. Great, you're now, yeah, you're now playing with Barbara. You can choose many other heroes in the heroes gallery. We can stay, stay on here for a moment. And... Hmm. Well, she's quite yeah. different from her trailer. Yeah, I didn't actually mean to go back in here, but oh well, we might as well try and get that lost teensy here. <laughs> and yeah, Barbara is a bit of a fan favorite, to my knowledge. Oh, no, no, really? I wonder why. Okay. I did give her quite a good trailer. Yeah. This definitely, without a doubt, spawned a lot of special fan service arts. Yeah. But we're not here to focus on that. We're here to get that last teensy. Yeah, I have to say, her model here looks very different from the one in the trailer. Yeah, that was also 3D though, so there's always a there's always things that are different between the transition of 3D and 2D. So and I expected her to be taller than all that for she had a quite a different figure. There we go. Though I guess they had to tune her down a little bit. Yeah. Since yeah, I think it's the trailer one that spawned the fan arts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And for those people who are curious what I'm talking about, just go to YouTube and look for this game, one of these games' trailers, and you'll see what I mean. It's uh, so Ray a lot. Yeah, there's also here that we can oh. go to unlock here. <laughs> and this time it actually gives little blurbs around every character. So let's see. The limbless hero of the Glade of Dreams is always raring for a fresh adventure to save the world, even when he's too lazy <laughs> to. Uh, 
to just wake up in a freaking century. Here we go. This small barbarian princess is a strong and fierce warrior. No one wields an axe quite like her. She can even glide along on it. What? I, I, I knew she could fly with her winged helmet. But, oh, you didn't make light in that way. Yep. <laughs> uh, I thought she meant, like, surfing in the sky with it. Uh, there probably is a niece of hers that surfs, because a lot of characters are, of course, going to be variants of Barbara as well. Let's see. This nice guy is Rayman's best friend. He always follows Rayman on his adventures as long as there's something to eat. <laughs> as long as it's not prune juice. The teen seas are the tiny wizards who guard the secrets of the Glade of Dreams. Now, this fellow is one of their kings. Yeah, they have a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> This TC's job is to watch the door to the land of the living dead. In the light of the recent events, I would say he's not very good at it. Dear. <laughs> and then we have a very famous knight who always gets stuck in the most perilous situations. I don't know what he would do without Murphy's help. This limitless knight is a, myster a mysterious hero who never uh, takes his helmet off. Some say his head is actually stuck inside. <laughs> And yeah, we can get unlock a lot more of these with more lums. And as you can see, the numbers get a bit uh, excessive. What the heck? Okay, now it makes sense with the rule daily lum things. No, they aren't really needed for that. Because we can still get a lot of lums from these lucky tickets once we run out of other things to get with them. Yeah, though it does help. Yeah. Okay, now that that's ready, we're done. That, that face ahead. when she runs with the axe in hand. Yes, she is just lethally murderous, huh? I like her already. Just by the personality alone. Okay, off to the enchanted forest. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Man after midnight. Okay, always check back for anything hidden. And there we go. Alien! That's the plants. Sure, blame the plants. Okay, don't think we can go that way. No more silicone cardi for you. Oh. Oh, Seriously? That was, by, that was by pure accident that I got in there. Okay, simple enough. Left, right, right. <laughs> oh dear. It was that, that little laugh of hers. <laughs> also, it, it is very, very clear that Barbara is not a bloody Disney princess because she's actually missing some teeth that has scars on, on herself and her helmet all over. Not, yeah, he's, she's not a Disney princess, no. She's a barbarian princess. There's a big yeah. difference there. So, th th there is the... What's her name again? The, the girl from Brave, who is also a princess, but she runs around with a bow, at least. Merida. Merida, uh, thank you. Yeah, she's also the... Uh, what? Uh, was a, <laughs> she's not your traditional Disney princess, either. Yeah, uh, until I saw Moana, Merida was my favorite of the princesses. Moana? She's still in the top three. But People counter a Disney princess, but I wonder, is she real a Disney princess? Was she even a daughter of a chieftain? Yep, she was specifically the daughter of the chieftain. Oh, I forgot that part then. Uh, so I wonder, would it really be counted as a princess? Like, I know the term chieftain's daughter, but... I'm a bit unsure if that would count as a princess. It's the closest thing to one. Come here, you. No. Do I do like Moana, Meredith, and does Mulan count? Uh, technically, I think at the end she was sort of adopted by the emperor, which, while well, an imperial princess, that would make her, I think. 
Ah, all right, that, that must have forgotten, yeah. And by Mulan, I mean the animated one. I have not yeah. seen the live action one, but I have heard they butchered that one. Great. To give completely different message. A bad one, even. Yeah. Also, the fact that, well, they use slave labor in the, in the production. What? Yeah, from what I've heard, uh, the Uyghur people who are being oppressed in China, uh, put in camps and such, so-called work camps, they also, yeah, they got forced to work during, for parts of the production, I think. Oh, full I, love. I, I lack the full details, but I know enough. I'm not touching that with a 50-foot pole. No wonder people are angry. That's just the Disney reputation gotten really downhill over the years. And they are apparently even in debt. Yeah. And lied about how much they earn from Disney+. Plus. Yeah, apparently that's been losing money. Yeah, apparently... Netflix stock skyrocketed. Mila's Disney Plus plummeted. I would say Netflix would be in good places if it wasn't for... Thanks to some certain writer for the Witches series, The Shades of uh, Cavill. Yeah, the main actor, I believe it is. Yeah, f yeah. It was a, one of the writers pissed him off so much that he left. Apparently she wanted to... Completely kill off his horse. Yeah, from, from, I, I have heard rumors that at least one of the writers for the Witcher uh, live show uh, actually fucking hated the books and games. So, yeah, that's, that's the, 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 not one. Apparently, several of them do. This was also oh. just pulled him away. And I feel like, and recently after that, the CEO Disney has said that they're gonna remove activists. From the writer groups and all that. This, this pro, I better late than never. But he they, they could done that a bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, like there's a time and place for activism, but good gods, there are people misusing it. Let's see. Congratulations, you've unlocked the world fiesta de los muertos. The teens is await your help there. Not going there yet. You're going to finish this place first. Is that, mo is that a Jurassic Park reference? Maybe. Another creature. Cyclos. Okay. We're not going to look there yet, though. We've already rescued Barbara. So let's go to the ropes course. <laughs> I can hear you. There we go. <laughs> okay. First time we're seeing these dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> the sound. I didn't actually think they'd poof from that. Wait, what? What did you do with your axe? Add an extendo grip. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this game already. So, yeah, probably good to... Let's talk about more than... Bullshit. What would you call them? Uh, what? Modern bullshit. Yeah, more the bullshit and drama, more focus on this. But I feel like it, we definitely need this. Yeah. As and previously, yeah, because our very office now, we need to just get those some distance with those skull coins. Or survive long enough for them to count. Oh, yeah. And all this is. I think people want to come in and relax and not be reminded, so yeah. Yeah. Gonna try to focus on that. So these dumbasses can't swim. <laughs> That's also a way to get rid of them. Holy. Oh, there's that damn thing again. There we go. But uh, yeah, I, I, nope. This is another case where we can accidentally miss one of these guys if we're unlucky with, uh, if we're very quick on the draw. Okay, that's one way to get the redo. 
Was it Hissy? Hello? There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I think they mostly just say help and hello. Is so that where that um, hello meme is from? I'm not sure I know this meme then. Yeah, there's been a few times that we just insert a hello in a random scene or something. Uh, and I meme in a meme way in the videos on YouTube. Hmm. I knew that. I'm not sure if that is from this game. Uh, it sounds surprisingly similar enough. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know why, and I don't want to ask why these hunters are hanging from ropes. Oh, no, another case, if you're too trigger happy, you can lose one of them. And I... Speaking of trigger happy, I should have left the second one up there. Because there's a very obviously something over there. Actually... There we go. That looked disturbing. Without seeing a balloon up and being very transparent in the belly area. Yeah, when you get hurt, you still get balloonized. <laughs> if you are playing with other people, they can save you by just hit hitting you. But, well, again, we're playing solo. Why <laughs> they, they scream? Oh, that... I think you saved a lot from having the high pot. Like that one. That one you were unable to save in time. Yep. There you go. Hello there. Uh, oh! <laughs> that was unexpected, sorry for that. Uh, Verm. Vera Mentinil. I'm, I'm going to be unable to pronounce the middle part there, sorry. Vera Montain. Uh, Tai. Norante, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the show. And, uh, yep, how, how are you doing? Yeah, welcome! Oh. Okay, this one. Cut it. Oh. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Okay, I'm just missing all of them here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, well, welcome to the stream. Uh, we. We don't really have a set thing of what we do. We mostly just play... Typically we play uh, story, yeah, play games for story and such. Though the Rayman games are, well, part story and just plain fun. Yeah, and now I'm suddenly worried that the Barbarian Queen plans to kid... Uh, not kidnap. Uh, oh. Try her luck with the Queen. Let's go with that. Well, the kings have been rather as receptive to either side as well. And oh, they're, they're, they're flied. Very okay, true ignorance in Italian. Okay. Uh, how's the weather over there, <laughs> then? <laughs> There's something over there. Let's see. Well, learn something to new today, then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I see what we need to do here. We jump, we roll that back. And... Oh, but I didn't, actually, I didn't actually know you could stand on the hanging ones. <laughs> Let's see. Anyway, nothing. Just curious about Rayman. It's, uh, we've been we've streamed uh, most of the games. We started with Rayman 2, did uh, then Rayman 3, Rayman Origins, and now we're on the currently final uh, Rayman game, uh, Legends. So, which I'd say, besides Rayman 2, is my favorite. Yeah, uh, nobody we ever stream Rayman 1, considering, first of all, how old it is, secondly, how hard it is. Yeah, that, to get the true ending in that game, you really have to get every, so, <laughs> you have to get every single lum, or not lum, Electune in that game. And some of them are hidden in really freaking harsh pace, from what I've been told. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, overall, I'd say this is definitely a, a series worth looking into and just finding one or two free games to play of. Let's see. The girlfriend of her friend gave Rayman to her for birthday presents. Alright. Nice! 
Let's hope they, they enjoyed it. Yeah. It is still a good game, definitely, from all I've heard. Uh, if, if you want a full uh, understanding of Ray of the first Rayman... Oh, got that before he charged. Yeah, he, he would have dragged that cage along with him. Uh, if you want a full understanding of the first original Rayman game, I believe Joss Strife Hayes, uh, as Joss Strife, H-A-Y-E-S. He did a video on the game some time back. Uh, a video slash review where he went through the entirety of it and he was not too happy with how hard that turned out. Okay, so you want to try play that game with him? It... <laughs> That'll definitely uh, yeah. be fun until it hits the hard points. Yeah, they, I think you can do that with uh, this one and the one before this one, but I don't think you could play multiplayer on the three first ones. Mm, no, I don't think so. Uh, I think... Hmm... I think Rayman 3 had some multiplayer mini-games, and there is Rayman M, which is a completely multiplayer game in the series. Uh, though it doesn't really have story and stuff, so we don't have... Uh, we are not too interested in it. Uh, actually, I don't know if it has. I might have to look that up. Uh, but yeah... Uh, games you could actually play two player at the same time uh, that would uh, yeah the best for that would be Rayman Origins and this one and personally I would recommend Origins over uh, no, not Origins Legends over Origins you try to platinate I don't know what that word means let me look it up actually and let's see congratulations you unlocked the world 20,000 lumps under the sea uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not going. If you mean where that's to go uh, for 100%, uh, I'm not going to try for that. And we're mostly going to be playing through the game in one go. We will probably go back at some places if we need extra teensies for unlocks and such. Uh, Platinate. <laughs> Okay, that, I don't oh, think that's a definition. <laughs> uh, that's a chemistry th term that it came up with. And second level. Ah, uh, okay. I, I think it's a something like a platinum, like you go all the gold. Okay, I'm, I'm not fully planning on doing that. We'll we'll do as much as we can, but we won't be uh, grinding things out if they need like hours and hours of work. We're mostly going. You know, we're mostly going to go from the start of a level to the end, and go through a world start to finish like that. I do know that extra stuff will open up on old levels eventually, but we'll see about that when we come to that. For now, we have another little ticket. Hmm. So, it's, oh, our first origins uh, painting, which well has unlocked this new area oh dear and those have been unlocked okay. gibberish jungle hmm. welcome to back to origins here you'll find five new worlds full of new paintings with many teensies to save scratch lucky tickets to unlock all these paintings we will probably will get to these eventually as well I don't think they are complete copies from the you know, from the previous game. Uh, yeah, Gibberish Jungle, Desert of Didgeridoos, Gourmet Land, Sea of Serendipity, and Mystical Peak. I think nice. they are changed somewhat to uh, better fit uh, <clears throat> the better fit legends. But yeah, and now... yeah, as you should also say we usually stream for stories. We try to finish it. Within good ending area or special, if possible. Yeah, if it doesn't it, require like dozens of hours of extra grinding or specific things. Yeah, or something that almost drive us insane. Yeah, just simply say it. We mostly stream for the fun of it. Yes. We're not going to challenge. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's five of these little jackasses now, and here's the first one. 
<laughs> and <laughs> yeah, he, he, he just GTFOs. What the? <laughs> Give me that. And yeah, we'll have to chase each of these around. And let's not get squished. There we go. And there we go. Now he won't run along. He won't. Yeah, he won't run ahead too far. But we don't. We, it won't completely hold our hand in what we'll need to do. Oh, I see what's going on. The sand is not bad, except when you, you have to use some wash out so we don't get crushed. Yep. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a nice face, instead of an instant kill by lava or something. And I think there will be more, I think there are a few levels who do this. I, I have completely played through this game before, but it has been a bit, so my memory can't be fully trusted on it. Yep. And that guy got squished instead of us. There you are. And, well, I would say safe, but there's another of these. And here we go. They are going to make it more difficult for us with each of these. Also, just that little laugh of Barbara. So that's a that's a teeny teensy. Teeny teensy. Oof, oh, the heck! I wonder how many people almost had a heart attack on this one for always thinking they were about to get crushed. A good amount, I'd say. Oh, I even know. Yep, with this one, we need to go back a bit. Oh dear. And not yet another of these. I think it is more worse for me for. I played a bit Valheim today. I saw. And. I think the first time ever, maybe? But I forgot that uh, it has been pretty in me before, but I actually died from a tree today. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Vermin. Uh, Vera. What would you prefer I call you? I'm not going to be able to announce all of that. And I'd rather not... Uh, I'd rather not call people ignorant. Miss yeah, run! <laughs> oh, yeah, run! She got an axe! Uh, yeah, if we were playing multiplayer, all the other characters would pull out. Well, they don't really have weapons, but they would be ready to kick his ass. <laughs> as well. Oh, you. Is uh, it? Are you guys sure? Yeah, I never killed myself in one lamp with a tree. I mean, the only time I died from a tree is from. You! Completely unintentional of you, of course. Yeah, do you usually kill yourself in tree as well? Yeah, I'll definitely not deny that. Oh, another creature. Okay. Also, I completely forgot that Barbara crouches like this. <laughs> what the? She... Is that... Is that a split? I think so, yeah. And of course, she used her axe to make a platform. They locked me behind this door. Please help me. Yeah, we need a few more teensies for that, though. So, how to shoot your dragon. Four skulls already. So many references. Jurassic Park, 200 Fathom Steep, and this one. Yeah, this one is painfully obvious. Yep. I almost forgot that 
that movie is actually quite old now. Yeah, very, I, I believe it was far before my time at the very least. And Murphy. Uh, no, you, you were. I'm pretty sure you were born when they released uh, how you take how to tame your dragon. No, I, I was talking about 2,000 or 300 fathoms. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I don't think either of us was born for that one. <laughs> uh, what just happened? <laughs> hmm? What happened? Uh, okay. For some reason, the controller stopped responding there for a moment, and when the, uh, I think there was audible on the stream as well. Windows gave a, a noise or something. Hmm. Yeah, I heard that. Weird? I presume it's nothing too bad. So also, I think I see. Yep. That was that was pretty clever, almost. It's. I don't remember this level or this little mini area. Let's see. Nope. There. And there we go. Another one rescued, and another hard game. Or rather, some extra lumps. But I, I, I do have to say, Barbara is quite tall. Yeah, she, 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 is, she is slouching here, so she would... Uh, also bending her knees, she would probably be about... Uh, uh, actually, there she goes. <laughs> yeah, see, way <laughs> taller than Rayman, at least. Yeah. I'm sure she's taller than... Oh no, what is that? I always butcher his name. Goblox? <laughs> Glowbox. Glowbox! Thank you. Glowbox. I think maybe he's taller than her? Pretty but that's a hesitant. Yeah, it is a hesitant maybe. Yeah. Though hmm. she's definitely likely the strongest of the group. Probably. Yeah. At least physically. Uh, you've spoken many times about how you would like there to be a well, a new uh, Rayman animated series, and I think you definitely would want Barbara to be put in that as well. Most definitely. I, mean, I probably would like all the characters except Murphy. <laughs> Murphy, the, you have to admit, the, the early times they, they voice acted Murphy, it just came off either annoying or just creepy. Yeah, it, it was the Zero, so it was a, a bit of a time of edgy design and such. <laughs> edgy and uh, immature. Well, there's a lot of things the 90s and Zeros were. I think they tried to make him comical and just failed and make him creepy by an accident. Yeah. Okay, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean. I, I messed it a bit too late there. Ow! Uh, that looks I painful. Don't, I don't think an aspirin is going to fix that. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's. I want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to turn move it. the box just so uh, Barbara could ball jump off it in time, but <laughs> it's just a second too late. And... Nope. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nope. What? You think we got someone over there? Yep. Okay, there was a bit of an animation shown there that I don't think we get to see too often. Also, she just casually <laughs> flipping. She actually, uh, Barbara actually, they actually went into a role there. Oh, I know, I remember this bit. Move 
that. Move that. Yeah, th there's there's fire chasing up <laughs> after us. Ow. Okay, here we go again. Oh. Yeah, there it is. I was a bit too early on the take you know, on the takeoff there. Yep. Intercepted this time. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, dear. Uh, at least th this game is fun enough that I don't mind little screw ups like this because they also just set us back so quickly. Uh, uh, just imagine if each of the levels in uh, Origins uh, had you restarting at the very start of a level, then the people would have absolutely hated it. Oh, yeah, they would have. Uh... I'm in bad company. Oh, oh. Okay, we're missing that one at the moment. Sorry, you're going to be sticking around a bit longer. And yeah, we're back in the land of the living dead. We're at least peeking into it. Might have cost me. Nope. Not cutting these. And I shouldn't have caught that one either. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and into the lava. Don't hit. This is about poke the ghost eye. Yep. Wait, these yes. are ghosts? Yep. Okay. And out of here. Uh oh. Okay, ran right into that, quite literally. Uh, they get they do tell you to run. And yeah, we get this power along for a bit more now. But this was also... Oops. Just cleared that. This was also a power up in Origins, but it was, yeah, limited use there. Quickly. I also have forgotten about that since you used it so little. Yeah. In this game, though, it stays with you for you know, for the rest of the well, section, at least. Uh, yeah, the court is too teensy short, but I think they can manage for now. <clears throat> and up we go! And also just the little dance that Barbara does. Oh, that's a good dance! Kind of what you. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that for, for several decades. Uh, also, something. Uh, how is the audio mixing, uh, uh, Ver uh, Vera, if I can call you that? I'm looking at the audio bars, I might be a bit soft compared to Drakir for some reason. The audio keeps oh. going around. But you, you're usually a bit stronger on. on uh, usually. Yeah. Oh well, another character level for Elysia this time. Elysia? Who is that? You'll see in a bit once we unlocked her you know, painting. Yep. Okay, I forgot they actually do those, so give me that back. Yep. <laughs> okay, that, that's confirmed that we can actually hit the green ghosts. Move that down. Move that back up. There we go. Hmm. I have to say that... Uh, 
I have to say that with Rayman having gotten a DLC... Oh, oh, missing another teensy. With Rayman having gotten a new a DLC in the new Rabbids game, I do hope they just give him another game sometime soon. Yeah, for I don't know why... Got you. I can see some people liking Rabbids, but... I think I prefer uh, Rayman. Just barely saved that. <laughs> Holy! Okay, I did not manage to make that look as good as that did there with the axe. <laughs> Rolling into a slide and going underneath it. <laughs> okay. I think we can start speeding these up. Which is a nice little thing that they added here. Whereas in Origins, we had to wait for the entire tube to fill up all the way, or with as many melums that we had. And well, there she is. Wait, what? Barbara's twin sister selected this, this, selected this dark look not to be mistaken for her sister, even if their fighting skills are equal. The two of them uh, fighting together are like a hurricane unleashed. Oh dear God! That sounds terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it let's also... actually take her along for a bit. Yeah. I think I would love that to see the in the if they were to make a series in the East with those two. Yeah. Oh, and... the carnage! <laughs> it's time for a boss level, breathing fire. Oop. Go. And here we get this again. Oop, oop. Almost set myself over the edge there. Okay, we can send those pu punches up into the air as well. And yeah, this is the arena. And there's our boss. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear. Two. Okay. Easy enough. <laughs> Game, my bump fault there. Uh, I think... Actually, I, I remember these boss fights having checkpoints, or at least some of them. So, yeah, we'll just have to make it through this part. Also, just all of those poachers... Yeah, poachers was the word, not hunters. Poachers. Oh. All of them in the background doing everything there. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we can attack him. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it would have been too easy if that was the it. Yep. So, now we gotta run. Oh, hello. Yeah, but of course, he's not going to make it that easy for us. I'll take that, thank you very much. Okay, now they're going faster, and he's spitting multiple. Almost got hit. And here he comes again. What was that at the back of his throat? I blinked and missed. And you missed the teensy. Yep. Oh, this one wobbles. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit too low there. And he's out of range. Come on, come on, come on. Can't hurt him. 
Uh, lower this thing. There we go. Okay, one more. Nope. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just oh. <laughs> low clearance. Oh dear. button down this time but these game all of these games do have still have their whack very wacky bits dear <laughs> and now we unlock the last level of the uh, this world good level castle rock yep I think you'll like this one. But before we do that, we go another creature. And some lungs. And there we go. Yeah, we can we can get some teensies from this as well. Okay. What, we, what we get is randomized, but it the game is set up that you get every one of the teensies that you can get through that, and all of the creatures. If you, as long as you get all of the tickets, you can get. Okay. And we've already unlocked yet another world, Olympus Maximus. But as I said, we're going to finish this off first. So uh, let's just get into here, and I'll shut up for a very good reason.
Yep. <laughs> Each world gets finished off with a music level. <laughs> Sorry, thoughts on that? Thank you. <laughs> I, I so close to you so on the ground. <laughs> that was good. And that was a parody. Yep. For a, a cover. Uh I, I'm not actually sure if we're going to get a copyright, a copyright claim on that or not. I hope not. But, yeah, they, yeah. they did a lot of difference between that and the original as well. Yeah. So the hopefully not. Being, yeah, the, the original or... Uh, there's a, I actually know of two versions of that you know, song. The, the track is called Black Betty. And I know a cover of it was made by the band Spider Bait. Which was in uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, which is where I heard it, I think. But it, okay. Uh, there, there is also the original version. I'm actually going. I'm actually going to look it up real quick now. Uh, yeah, just don't uh, don't stop playing it. Uh, let's see. Black Betty, song by Ram Jam. And yeah, because we say we can. Completed all of the levels, we get five lucky tickets. And we get another origins level. Hmm. I don't think there is a way to get these opens quickly or something. You do have to scratch them out, which if you have a bunch of them stacked up, it can be a bit, it can be a bit annoying. And you need to scratch out a bit of every icon there is on them for them to count. So it just works. It it works to just <laughs> go in a circle. So another level. I hope mosquito. <laughs> and another creature. Okay. So, shall we move on to Toad Story then? Yeah, let's do that. Two skulls on this one, as each one go well. Each one starts low, but goes higher, of course. Uh, shall we start with uh, Ray and the Beanstalk, or shall we go for another new character? Go for a new character. At least unlock them. Yeah, rescue Aurora. Aurora. 600 feet on there. <laughs> That's a bit that of a dark one. Silhouette gave me concerns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a relatively simple one. Unless you want all of the lumps since they move out of the way. Oh. Oh, missed those. Yeah, we just need to make our way down. I don't think of a time limit on this except for the strings of lumps that move away. Oops. You again. I don't think we get to see those much at all. Oh, I actually got them. I thought I missed them. Actually, I think the, the cages will also move out of the way. Or off screen where you can't reach them. Oh. A bit tricky. Let's not touch that. And there we go. All three of them. Well done! You got the queen, the king, and the Esther. Yep. But we're a bit short on the crack yeah, on the gold trophy here. I think for the normal levels it's always 600 lums. For the risk for the short levels it's 300. There we go, three more added. <laughs> oh, message in your suitcase. Okay. Oh, it's these. 
<laughs> it's complaining because they're stacking up. And that's a team scene. Now then, let's have a little look. This warrior princess saw her kingdom being invaded by the nasty toad, so she swore to kick them out of her kingdom. And yeah, she's basically uh, Barbara with another uh, look. Uh, that's with most of these rescue uh, levels, anyways. Yeah, mainly to Barbara and such. Like, I sort of feel like they do the people that made this really like Rayman and accidentally ended up loving this new character. A good chance of that. Oop, we are strings again. Yep, we can just fly up in those. Uh, and I guess it also makes sense that you use her in this level, considering, well, the lore we just read. Yeah, it, it is her kingdom after all, and I saw you up there. There we go. Nice music! Let's see, I forget the name of this track specifically. But in general, as with most of the Rayman games have been, the music is very good as well. Oh yeah! There we go. And I heard someone back here. Hell! <laughs> no more Gouda for day. <laughs> but did I just go full Swedish? Uh, no more Gouda for you, it was. As in the yes, days. but I think I said it in Swedish. Now, if it was, then it was still understandable. Yeah. I mean, did I just actually say no more Gouda for day? It could be. <laughs> yeah, I think it went Swedish. It's totally English, it went Swedish. <laughs> for day means for you. Uh, easy enough to understand that bit. Yeah, do... The way you spe spell day is the same way you spell dig. Okay. Let's get as... There, there's no real need to get as many lumps as possible other than for unlocking characters and uh, the trophies, but I'll still try to get as many as we can without having to go out of the way. And uh, yeah, yeah there's and... enemies of this place. Oh dear. But at least in this game we can farm them in a way. True. I just have to start the game up each day to get a few extra from the creatures. Well, I uh, was also guessing that you could redo levels. Yeah, true. It's not. It... Oh well. You're still around, luckily. I thought that one almost floated off. Just look at how angry he is. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I hear a teensy. There you are. You first. I said you first. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, is that something up here? Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this. I remember this. Yeah, we actually have to hit the cage with these. There we go. <laughs> that face! She actually looks a bit like a soccer fan with her face painted like this. Uh, I think she's supposed to look Scottish. Okay. Let's see, what have we here? That was a bit of a close call. They... They, they feel like they never went away to improve their... moving wines and tentacles. Yeah, the, the visuals just in general have been upgraded. There we go. I think I think most of these lines of lums don't actually go off screen where you can't get them, but like this one, they'll just go circle around. 
It, so the game also has a bit less of the meanness that some parts of Origins have. Oh? In Origins, a lot of lumps would go off screen after a time. Oh, the yeah, true. Ones. Uh, you're doing quite well so far. Yep, we've completed the entire world in a, about an hour and a half. And you got a lot of many cases uh, complete with tra uh, the train. Train is. Teensies. Yeah, we've only missed like less than 10. Out the heck did he land into? <laughs> okay, just complete suicide bomber or, or diver. Uh, and yeah, the toads aren't actually that bright. <laughs> just like the poachers. Oh dear. So did I see something over there? No. It's just an open area. These these vines are quite a thing. Yeah, and they are in all the games as far as I know. There we go. And I wonder if there's a special connection with them in the games. I, I think I think when Polacris is just having nightmares, it, they often include vines and such, or thorn vines, or well, in the case of <laughs> in the case of Origins, uh, just black tentacle thorns and such. With eyeballs and thorns. Yeah. I just realized this one has all her teeth. That's oh, yeah, she has. Okay, that's a small little difference that I have never actually noticed. So, yes, besides appearance, there's also small differences between, well, <laughs> the kingdom's uh, princesses. Let's see. The winds of, the winds of strange. <laughs> the winds of change. Gimme. But wait, is scenes here? Hmm? Oh, it's really... She's just not using an axe! Yep. She actually has a, a sword. It looks more like a... It's bad stuff. A sword stuff? Uh, yep, literally it means that. <laughs> it's one of those weapons we have written about, but not found physical... Found, found yet. Find yet to... We feel like the reason we have not found these weapons is simply due to, well, wood rot, sword yeah. blade doesn't. That. So every time you may have found a, a sword blade, it might have been either a sword or a sword staff. Yeah. <laughs> it actually makes a bit of a pull. <laughs> a xylophone noise. Okay, Oop, there's a little uh, prince over there. So... Hmm. Okay, it looked like the game stopped there for like half a second. That was yeah. a bit odd. A bit weird. Uh, yeah, I get. I guess the teensies just don't care at all <laughs> whether their savior is male or female. Yeah. Uh, hmm. As it is, if they are hesitant about doing a new Rayman game, why not? Why not Barbara? She she looks like someone that has enough personality to warrant her own spin-off. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a thought at some point. Alright, uh, you. <laughs> okay, intercepted him in the middle of the jump. He was actually going for a luchador leap. Oh, a lady. Uh, oh. I 
Again, not the brightest. <laughs> the toads got hurt for brains. I still... Yep. Yeah. Just yep. only two. Yep. Ooh. I retaliate Ow. versus swords with pillar. <laughs> and I'm guessing there's something going hidden over there. Yep. Just a coin, but still. <laughs> okay, that last poke was a bit unnecessary on the lower one. <laughs> That's a very obvious little side path. Let's see. Oh, this one. This can be a bit annoying, I think. Hmm. There we go. Just gotta hover a bit and I... You get it. <laughs> Oh dear. Mm. Pardon? Okay. Th this game just makes me happy, simply put. <laughs> Even I feel happy from watching this. And I really, I don't know why, but something about the new character is love. I think she and Raymond might be my current favorites. Between playable characters. Yeah, not surprised. Okay, that was me just fun. That was me just flailing with the controls for a moment and not get. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he actually, he actually keeps going at it. So I thought he would just poke him once. Also, that voice. It sounds like an opera singer trying to it. Y yeah, I was going to comment that if they were trying to sing opera. <laughs> um, All yeah. shall fall before Toad Bane. Would that be a name for a sword, Toad Bane? <laughs> well, it would probably be ridiculed until the, like the giant toads invade. Yeah. Okay, it's another good batch. We missed one, it seems. I don't know what those levels of awesomeness actually do, if anything at all. I think it's mostly just a bragging rights thing we're unlocking thing. House in the cloud. That's also a reference. You... Probably to a novel, but also to us a song called Castle in the Sky. Okay. Which I listened to a few times. Though I don't know how the original is, but I mostly listen to the Nightcore cool version. Though when I listen to the Nightcore cool version, I usually get recommended the original version too. But never okay. that one. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, they may be dumb as rocks, but they're quite hardcore in their parachuting <laughs> willingness. Also, yes, they are humming the bits of <laughs> Flight of the Valkyries. You, you, you guys don't know, don't know you're about to get your ass kicked by Valkyries, right? Uh, maybe that's why they're doing it. It's a prayer for fuck save me. <laughs> Perhaps. There we go. Hmm. Heal! No more cheese for you. I haven't eaten cheese in like a month or something. Really? Nope. Up is not up. Oh well. Uh, then again, I go sometimes between several months be uh, between without cheese.
key thing hidden up? Nope. But there is a, a TNT here. There we go. Okay, someone having a shower. <laughs> someone not having a shower anymore. Oh, I see you there. I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this track is going to get in a bit of an expansion later on in the level. Oh? Or at least in a later m mission, at least. Hmm. Okay, it's all of them so far. Okay. Oh, almost got crushed there. <laughs> okay. Here we get going again, instead of all just floating around. Oh, missed. There we go. Uh, th there's a few mobile games of the with Rayman that's a... Uh, they go very similar in style to uh, Rayman Legends, and I have to say, for the time that I played them, they were pre they were pretty nice. Or, or it, the one that I played was pretty nice. I think it was called Rayman Adventures. Okay, so I still feel like it's almost an insult to turn Rayman into mobile games. True. Oop. Okay, we just have to dodge everything here. Oh no. These are actually from uh, the Desert of Didgeridoos, I think. Yeah. What are they doing here? They're just hanging. Where is that? There is that cage. There we go. Uh, it's just fun to pull the toads and the poachers and basically every enemy in this game. Oh, are you still in bully stage from yesterday? Maybe. Almost fell because the wind actually stops there. But yeah, the, the main reason I quit playing Rayman Adventures oh, 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 is because the there wasn't enough variation in the levels. Uh, yeah, it, it and they arrived. To generate, it, it would try to generate a new uh, level for each uh, well level that you went on. There we go. But it 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 had a rather limited library parts it could use, so you would get repeats eventually. And, okay, missed only one. Yeah, I don't feel like if they make it into mobile, they should at least make it into PC or something. Nope. Oh, they haven't seen much story so far. Uh, the story with this and the origins is basically just fight off the nightmares and such. And I, I, I would definitely say that the gameplay enough is reason to play it at all. Oh, oh yeah. Quickness. So I would welcome dialogue and such. Yeah, maybe in the next Rayman game. Missed. Yeah, for let's say this: like characters like uh, Barbara and the others. Definitely could use some uh, more dialogue so you get to know them. True, but like you said, she already show, they already show so much yeah, personality from their actions and such. Oh yeah, but still. Will always be a, a, a wonderful bonus. True. Uh, Prove they do it well. I, I would not be surprised if they gave up on story after Rayman 3. 
Well, there were plans for a fourth Rayman game, but yeah, that that, that got turned into uh, yeah rabbits. <laughs> I think that's the princess. Yeah, with the smaller crown. Go. Uh, there is that up there. So let's head back a little bit. There we go. Dive attack to get some more distance or height. Oh, hello. Okay, this is going to get precarious, and I almost get hit the thorns right away. <laughs> oh. I expected it to be longer. What was the frog jumping on the king? Yep. Maybe he should have paid him for practical uh, practices. <laughs> I would call that a royal abuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I screwed myself there. Get press too early. Thank you, Murphy. Yeah, but yeah, chiropractic. Uh, it, it's a, a bad idea to go look for a. Or, oop. Just the wrong button almost. Uh, Kyber practice is a pseudoscience. It's not actually proven to be, well, medically useful. And a lot of people who have uh, seen, have uh, visited Kyber practice have actually come out worse. Yeah, like, I can't think, I don't think it can be useful and healthy in some ways, but it's not the rule as some have claimed able to cure cancer and all that yeah. when they tell you they, 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 they can cure cancer and all, and all that they're bullshitting you there we go. and i heard so many Oop. red flag versions and yeah yeah i really just remember one that me. almost angers me just thinking about it yeah all the more reason to Keep moving on with this, then. That one's in close. Yeah, I mean, what I will tell you, uh, you this off the stream. There we go. So many eyes poked. <laughs> Keeps like falling for it. Themselves. What is that? Napasa? I think it is. And we missed the queen. <laughs> you missed the queen? Oh dear. Yeah, they are hiding them better as the game goes on. <laughs> Let's see. We're short on rescuing the other sister. But after this one, we probably will. When toads fly. Flashback from Welsh folklore and mythology. Where there are legless frogs and toads with wings and tails. And that eat cattle. And uh, yeah, these uh, hog heads actually breathe fire. Oh, dear gods. But they're still not all too bright. I yeah. think I know why they are breathing fire. Too many chilies. <laughs> that and sriracha. Something has been going on with that recently, I think, because I, I used to be in the, yeah, in the uh, stores where I know that had it. So. The, they used to sell the big bottles of that, but recently only small ones. And, well, a lot they, of copycats have come out with it. They had big ones? 
Yep. I, only, I was only able to buy small ones. I only seen small ones. I didn't know they were... Like, how big are you talking big? Uh, well, the small ones you could completely wrap your hand around. The big ones, uh, not. Is it like a Heinz ketchup bottle? Like a two liter or something? Yeah, not that big. One and a half? Uh, I'm not sure actually about how much wood we have been in there, but not uh, liters sort of thing. But what I'm talking about is the small ones are almost like uh, a bit short of just travel size stuff. Okay. And I know we have a, a, a very few brands, like a local brand uh, and another one, but uh, I usually buy the same one. Is it the original so far? Okay. Okay, that's not happening. It's a, it's just a dodgeball thing. Uh, I did buy some... I, I was recommended to buy Sriracha Mayonnaise, so I'm definitely going to give that recommend. a try tonight. I recommend. That's the first one I tried. Yep. That's the one my mother accidentally bought. She didn't know what Sriracha was, and I thought... Oh, that's not a law offense, so much like she actually got afraid. That's all. Oh, it's just may Wait, Sriracha Mayu? So I tried it. I liked it. When she tried it, she hated the spiciness. <laughs> so uh, I got the bottle for free. Well, definitely going to try tonight because we're eating. Uh, yeah, we're, we're eating fat. Well, we're using the fryer tonight. I'll just say. I'm not sure how entirely how to translate it, but uh, Deep just fried uh, food, fries, uh, hamburgers, that sort of stuff. Brian Burgers. Yeah. Just use the, the deep fryer. That doesn't sound too hard to say now, does it? Just fry no. in burgers. <laughs> uh, it's I... only f a good one. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's that, that I'm multitasking a bit that had me go bleh. But, yeah, All right. We're, we're just we're just going to eat deep fried. It's one way As to I, say it, I guess. I would just say uh, burgers of rice. I will only call it fast food if you got it from McDonald's. True, yeah. And if I ever visit Netherlands to visit you, we are not eating McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I, I had a, uh, a German friend of mine. Uh, I call him Al <laughs> Noon, but uh, Nuin. Rakir knows him already. Uh, he has come to visit a few times already, and he also does not like McDonald's, to, say, to put it simply. But you met them in real life? Yep, multiple times. Are they small? No, they are, <laughs> they are tall. With double O. Almost missed them there. It would have been... <laughs> It would have been pretty funny if I accidentally forgot to attack and just got dumped into the abyss. That be a sight to fear. Alright. One thing I also like about this game is that even though each world has a theme, they don't fully stick with just that one thing. Like, were you expecting floating castle in the sky stuff? <laughs> From a world called Toad Story? Not necessarily... Uh... Actually, never mind. I would... Nowadays, I could expect it, thanks to Amphibia. Yeah, true. But that's, that's probably the only one. That's a bit of a different kind of castle. Yeah, it is. Also, Toad with back jetpacks. And... Fire guns. Well, into that one myself. Luckily, we can cancel out their cancel out their attacks. I was going to say. Okay, just well done. Overwatch. I do always like it when you can. Oop. 
counts uh, where you can just destroy projectiles like that. Uh, yes, same. That way you don't. Uh, that way your only option isn't to just dodge. And I think two shots actually counts there again. <laughs> two shots cancel each other's out. Okay. There we go. And got the full corpse. Well done! And we got the gold. It can get a little bit annoying, that tune, but for little bits, it works. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Uh, wait. That one looks different. Oh, this enemy? Is she other sister? Enemy. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, that, that is going to be other sister for this place. Every world has two uh, princesses for you to play as. And yeah, this is a new thing in this game as well. Enemies from another world invaded a painting you've already visited. It created a new painting where you'll find new teensies to save. As you save more teensies, new invasion paintings will appear. <laughs> Shall we oh go dear. save first, or go do this one? Uh, let's uh, let's unlock the next one. Yeah, and you you can take a good guess as what type of mission that is going to be. <laughs> It's also up I'm the sure. amount of teensies available in the area, because that was the, the maximum one that before was 72, now it's 75. Yeah, I, I'm trying to guess what kind of mission it will be having. Let's see, 6,000 feet under. Okay, the previous was 600. Yeah, so we need to go deeper. There we go. Yep. Still missed the first one. And there you are. Yep. Hello. Sorry, but this is a single player level. I'm not trying to eat you on the way down. Basically, oh, uh, okay, we skipped there a bit. That was not intentionally in the slightest. Okay. And here we go again. Oh, I got ahead of them. Just saying hello. Oh, Lee. Okay, yeah, that would have crushed us. Okay, I didn't. I, I didn't act. I didn't intentionally do that. I just missed that there was a platform here. So, I was thinking, how the hell do I get that one? Willy. And oh. even deeper still. Eyeballs. Spicy eyeballs. Eyeballs that died from having sriracha poured into the eye. Uh... That would. Oh, no, I said they all ghosts, but. Torture. Yeah, that sounds like torture, yes. 
And now I actually see they are not just eyeballs, they are actually burning ghosts. Yep. And there we go. The queen, the king, and the jester. Why the jester of all people, I don't know, but we're saving them all the same. And, yep, that's her royal sister, Freed. Okay, fifth level. Aurora's sister hates the toads as much as her sister. Growing up on a giant beanstalk turned her into an acrobatic warrior. So we have two with axes, two with sword staffs. Yep. And now we have an invasion level here as well. I'm not getting curious. What other weapons will there be? <laughs> uh, not too many more, I think. And we have hit two hours, but I did extend the timer by a few minutes. Uh, let's see, how far is it? How, how far? Are they? Oh, <laughs> six, five, four, three. Wait, how? And there it goes off. Uh, hmm. It makes sense that it do to my food, but two minutes. <laughs> Uh, shall we still take on this uh, boss then, and then call it after, or shall we leave the boss and the music level for next time? Oh, I think the decision has just been made because dinner has been called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Probably good need to save it till next time then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, let's head to the main menu, yes. And quit game. And now the full animation of that. <laughs> it is still very nice. I I really hope they manage to do another. Okay. Yeah, it would be wonderful if they make a proper new one. Hmm. Okay, logged out of Ubisoft Connect. Okay, just clicking the other way. I hope that doesn't remove our progress at the very least. And... That will be annoying. Yeah, more than annoying. Yeah, okay, swapping over to here and swapping the screen share over to the browser so we can look for someone to raid. And let's Holy see. Holy! Hmm? 20k on Valheim! <laughs> yeah, they, that's probably people streaming the beta of the Mistlands update. <laughs> Holy! And War, you know, Warhammer you know, Dark Tide is back up because that has full officially released now. I haven't played it you know, yet since the beta. Uh, from what I heard, progression should have been carried over, so I shouldn't have to make another veteran uh, marksman. But if I we if I do, it's not too much lost. Now let's see. Uh, speaking of Dark Tide, Kani is streaming it, as well as the Lazy General. And then we have uh, Rydian, who is streaming God of War Ragnarok. Hexaco, who is streaming Satisfactory. Both of those are slash were people who worked with the Yogg's cast. I I think Rydian is still in. I'm not sure about Hexaco. Uh, it, it has been a while since I've watched their stuff. Uh, hmm. Anyways, moving on. We have recommended channels. Ruffy Raccoon, who is streaming Cow the Kangaroo. I'm presuming that's the new version. Uh, we did <clears throat> we did the showcase on one of the Oh yeah, uh, we did. What's up in my stomach now? We did a, a showcase on one of the cow uh, games. The second one, I think. Then we have Alt Lexington who is streaming Star Trek Online. Amplitude Studios streaming Endless Dungeon. Uh Dr. Dubs streaming Silent Line Armored Core. I almost read that as Silent Hill Armored Core, which would have been a very odd game, I think. And then we have Kip Bites playing Terraria. Any of those sound interesting to you? Hmm. Good question. 
roughly raccoon, perhaps? Yeah, For... I was thinking them as well. I know maybe he did something something and they looked horrible, but I don't really see any trade for this one. These would actually look good. Yeah, I, from whatever the reviews I've seen, it is not amazing or anything, but it is still a very good game. All right, so perhaps better than the originals, at least. <laughs> uh, possibly. I, I don't know. I only played. Uh, I only played round two, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> let's start that raid and uh, yeah. Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you. Uh, I've still no idea. I'll just call you Vera for the moment. Thank you for uh, uh, watching. Thank you for chatting along. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And of course, thank you everyone else who may have been watching now or later. And uh, yeah, later in about three hours, we're probably going to be streaming Shante for the third time, I think. And uh, yeah, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for toadies. <laughs> Stream Deck.